Hi, did you expect that the game between two compatriots, Fabiano Cavirorono and Nakamura, Hikaru Nakamura, to be so intense? This is a Spanish game, Troy Lopez and a Sander Troy Lopez. And they develop, uh, gives off a pawn. You expect that to go to Berlin, but it doesn't. It doesn't go to Berlin. Hikaru takes the pawn back and develops the pieces. Game is too long. So, and Hikaru, of course, will talk about the game himself. So, what I will do in this video is uh, to go to some critical moments of the game. For deeper analysis, I suggest to go to Hikaru's channel in a few hours. So, takes, takes all is this story. Fabi sacrifices the exchange but wins a rook, wins uh, a rook and a pawn and a position of black is clearly better, save king. So black quickly opens up the center and wins the second pawn. We are still in theory and it was interesting up to move like 20 something. Hikaru spent like 7 minutes, it's literally 7 minutes. He was in heavy preparation. Okay, here you may say that why didn't take the bishop? Because then if you take the bishop, uh, then you should always watch out for... I don't know, let's do some stupid move. You should always watch out for this move and you don't want to do that. So, for we retreat the knight and then we go back forward. Here, as you can see, also engine suggests it's completely okay, completely normal game. And so far, uh, Hikaru spent really seven minutes up to this point before this move. And he, on the other hand, Fabi spent around one hour. Oh, sorry, we were moved 23. So... Uh, the game is a uh, Spanish torch, right? Lots of maneuvers and uh, nothing special happens. And I want to take you to in, uh, uh, critical moments. Here is the first critical moment. Here, Fawi plays a knight uh, c5. But this is bad. Enables Hikaru to play h5. h5 was the key for Hikaru to win. Fawi should have uh, stopped that why it is so important look at Hikaru's pieces Hikaru is up a piece right but he doesn't have piece maneuvers he cannot move this bishop and uh, the bishop on the d1 it cannot go anywhere literally or if if uh, attacks the bishop it doesn't help the knight on h1 is doing nothing bishop on f2 is just uh, playing defensive role so uh, Hikaru definitely needs piece activity and this move knight c5 enables uh, Hikaru to gain piece activity. How? After queen goes away, bishop comes out. And here is a sort of the failure for Fabian. Fabian just no stops the pawn from further pushing forward. But it doesn't help. Hikaru is uh, more than happy to exchange some pieces because he's up a piece. He needs a space when you are up material but you don't uh, you are down a space then you should exchange some material to gain a space because fewer pieces on the board more uh, liberty to move the pieces so the king moves and here uh, Hikaru takes back one of the pawns so Hikaru is down one pawn and up a piece but down exchange and still, Hikaru's knight is locked, Hikaru's bishop is locked, and uh, they play a lot of moves, and um, Fabi, of course, gives, um, takes back one of the pawns in the cost of enabling the knight of uh, Hikaru to play. So, Hikaru finally managed to make a pawn break, but uh, this pawn break is, again, to gain some space to move the pieces. And Fabi is um, setting up a sneaky plan, pushing the pawn forward, for what reason, right? And of course, you cannot capture this pawn, this is very uh, 
painful i mean uh, of course you should first capture it with the rook and then after you capture captures then this is a very bad position uh, for white i mean it's not winning anymore but doesn't have uh, rook to push forward and should be careful to not lose his pawns from by back rank attacks of rook so you don't take that pawn uh, with a uh, with a pawn or with a knight well, you also don't take it with a pawn because then rook comes in the whole point of your pawn on g2 was to defend the f3 spot and then this is end of a day i mean what can you do if you move the bishop then this is immediate lost so you should defend the bishop you should for example defend the bishop with a rook but then no uh, black has options for example one uh, simple option is to give this check once the king goes away then grab that bishop and then the knight now black is definitely good so this pawn is poison you don't take it he knows the different problem and defends the knight retreats the bishop again see how sneaky is this man uh, fabiano if you take it right away sounds quite good right you won a pawn and that's it but the rook comes in and where do you put the bishop uh, you cannot do much right if you move the bishop away then again the same story same sad story and this is a completely lost game so uh, still you cannot capture hikori is very careful doesn't capture and after moving the bishop in finally grabs that pawn grabs the pawn and here um, basically there are tons of maneuvers and i just want to take you to very last moments um, uh, because uh, the hikaru plays um old plays Fabi um, with masterpiece actually and finally wins exchange back and here Fabi creates a very strong pass pawn but this pass pawn is just to hold the game as long as possible i don't go to the row hole trailer but hikaru managed to um, find the plan bring the knight back and slowly but surely start to attack to that pawn with the knight okay let's uh, go forward and here finally attacks the pawn with the knight and it's very difficult to defend that pawn anymore because uh, rook also comes in before um, tries to stop it hikaru is um, playing a little bit sick here <laughs> he doesn't want to get um, that pawn with the knight and then rem uh, have uh, bishop versus nothing he just uh, uh, retreats the knight and uh, Fabi at this moment had 30 seconds and then Fabi resigns. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.